Hi there. It's pack again. Uh, I off grid in Australia. This is what I was putting um, together this morning. Got it in a flat pack. There's Hutch. I've changed it around compared to the instructions because they certainly didn't work out right. So you know what they're like. Get these flat packs. So this is just here temporarily. And I'll show you why in a minute. Why do I have a why do I have a hutch? You ask. Well this is what you do when you get yourself some baby chickens and you need somewhere to put them because they got out of the big container. Big, um, I'll show you that in a minute. That's out there. So, under here are some little chickens these are heirloom breed they're about six weeks old and there's seven of them and this is my trolley that I've put upside down I've just got a towel over the top to keep the heat off them so that they um, have got somewhere get away dogs um, somewhere uh, to run on the grass get down see I've drawn their attention back to the chickens so this hutch because um, at the moment I've just got them in a little material crate well this out here if I show you come for a walk Come for a walk with me and then you can see so outside the gate this gate is um this other area out here because i wanted them separated from my yard um so that i can put them in here so this area here um had all these star pickets i had somebody who had their bus she had her bus parked here so i thought i would utilize it so we've put chicken wire up and we started to i need to do another layer and we've got this um sort of a roof on this is just an old A-frame, you know, probably would have been an old swing set, which is being utilised, it was on another part of the property and I've brought it down here. Um, so that hutch will eventually come in here. But at the moment, because these chickens are little, they're finding little ways of getting out. So they got underneath that. And just where there's like a little bit cut there, right? They snuck through there, and you know the wires up, and I need to put something along there. So this will be their area, but um, but for now, uh, I've got them closer to the house because they're only little and. So we picked them up and drove her, I don't know, down a couple of hours from here, or an hour and a half, I suppose, and um, went and picked them up. Uh, they're not all for me. Um, my friend, she has already some of these chickens. Um, she had one that passed away, so when she saw these, because it's very, it's not often that we see this breed. 
so we ended up um, getting what this lady had and she had seven so they haven't been um, their sex checked yet because they're just that little bit too big they have a funny feeling there may be a rooster and they may keep it for breeding but we're not sure or it may go in a pot or we may give it away so but so that's you know what I've been like doing for the last few days hey 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 so I've uh, been inside because it's been very hot um, temperature is at the moment it's oh, about 11 a.m and it's very hot out there um, so it's been way over the hundred mark get away from the puppies and stop your barking you know you're scaring them Luna Luna come away please come on so yeah so now I've got to they've got <laughs> something to occupy them um, they're not sure about them come on you two so so that's one of the things that I've been doing um, and yeah so the seedlings that I showed you this morning I've still got more to put in uh, we've had it's been very very windy uh, we've had lots of thunderstorms but really no rain out of them so um, the ground is drying so you know I'm keeping buckets up to just my seedlings as it is um, but these little chickens will grow a bit more and then we'll work out uh, which ones may turn into a rooster and which ones won't hopefully you know if we get seven you know she'll have a couple and then the rest will be mine uh, and we'll go from there but yeah so that's you know one thing that I've been doing my friends come over a couple of times she brings her dogs so I have to then lock my cats uh, in the bathroom because it's the only one that's sort of like got a door that I can you know put up against it and lock it off um, so yeah so that's me <laughs> trying to get some stuff sorted in between this heat so if I'm not out by six in the morning then you know I'm really not going to get much done because um, by 7.30, 8 o'clock it's you, you, you're sweating already um, so it's just so I've still got to finish the the took pen but that, that'll have to wait. We've still got a little bit of time for them to grow. Uh, but most of that's minor. And I need to put something over the top to stop wild be birds from coming in. Uh, probably even stop, you know, my cats climbing in there. They may be alright, but I don't know. Because um, it's been a long time since I've had chickens. So, alright. So, that's just my update. So, I'll keep you... Just keeping you informed on what I'm doing. I'm getting there slowly, but this heat knocks you around. So, you know, I had a couple of days where I wasn't, like, by late afternoon, I was, you know, getting, you know, feeling, like, so drained, like, dizzy. Sort of like a vertigo attack. Um, but I'd been in town been out shopping so whether I'd you know picked up some shedding or you know those things that happen in the sky I don't know but um, I just gotta you know take it easy and keep going because I'm not ready to stop yet <laughs> and the creator certainly doesn't want me to stop yet you know he's pushing me all the time to you know get and do what I need to do so all right take it easy and hopefully you're enjoying your day because I'm about to go inside, try and cool down. Um, my sweat's pouring off me. And um, 
take the dogs in and they can get out of this heat as well and just relax for the afternoon and come out later on and do a few more of those seedlings and then water. I need to water them, give them a good watering in. So if I can get some more seedlings in, um, then uh, and then give them a good water because I, you know, the clouds come over, uh, but we're really not getting anything out of it. So I have to water. So, all right. So take it easy, um, and see you on the next one. Much love from Pack. Over and out.